All right, guys, we are here with our next guests. Uh, would you be able to tell us your names and a little about yourselves? I'm Natalia. I'm from <laughs> Chicago. And <laughs> you're like, oh my God, I'm on a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> no biggie. Okay, Nat Natalia. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, Red Devils. I'm, Val I'm Valeria. Um, I love could you playing sports. Could you type your name out? What is it? Valeria? Yeah. Valeria. Oh yes. my god, that's a fucking... It's like Valeria. That, that's crazy. That's an awesome name. Thank you. <laughs> and then is there a third person there that wants to join or are they not... You want to join? Yeah, she could join. Um, <laughs> I'm Libby and... Uh, Okay. I play sports. Awesome. Okay. Great. So, well, she also she plays the piano too. Okay, so we have N Natalia, Valeria, and Libby. Yes. yes. Awesome. So you guys are uh, guests number 100, 101, and 102. So you are a big a milestone lot. for me. Yeah, I appreciate it. You guys coming on. Um, so yeah, so what are your uh, thoughts of living in Chicago? Do you guys enjoy it? Do you like living up there? Um, I, I like love it. this. Summer is just winter. I like the, the city. Yeah. I like, yeah. I don't really prefer the winter. It's really cold. Have oh, you, yeah. And there's like a lot of different people here, too. Yeah. Have you guys uh, lived in uh, Chicago your whole lives? Yeah. Yeah. What is, uh? so right now, I guess, are you guys still in school? Are you guys still in high school? Are you in college? Um. Yeah, we're in high we're school. In high school. And it's like a hybrid plan. Yeah, so, so we go two days a week. Oh my god. Is that because of COVID, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. Public schools don't go, though. They just do remote learning. So you guys are in a in private school? Yeah. Interesting. Could you could you kind of talk about what you think your experience is like at a private school versus like um, being in a public school? Well, I've never been to a public yeah, school. Yeah, I don't know the experience. I mean, I feel like everyone says that private schools, like, they're kind of more, like, well, like, with public schools, like, I have public school friends, and they just say, like, they have, I feel like they have more different kind of classes in school, especially. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll do, like, kind of, like, those, um, the home class, I don't know what they're called. Like, those home and, like, cooking classes. Oh, they yeah, do, like, home ec. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they have, yeah, like, more. They just, I feel like they have a lot of options, too. Yeah, and it's, like, more diversity mm -hmm. at public schools. And then at private schools, it's just like, I mean, you still have fun, but yeah. So know. like, so in terms of like diversity and everything, like, do you feel like, uh, in terms of like race, is it pretty like uh, homogenous? Like in terms well, in of high school, in high school, in high school, it's, it's diverse. a lot more diverse than in like, but in like middle private middle school, school, it's school, not really. Yeah, because like when it's like in um, grammar school, it's like you're kind of like. You don't really like you already know everybody since it's kind of like people around from the area yeah or then in like high school like gets really bigger and stuff like that cool obviously what, not compared to public school but so like um uh, what's interesting is i think i i graduated out of high school at a time where like we like i i'm older but like we didn't have gun drills when we were in school. Do you guys have gun drills where you need to like? Yeah, yeah, we, we do. have lockdown drills, fire drills, stuff like that. Mm, those are like the only two we have. Yeah. Tornado, yeah, we have, tornado drills. We didn't have lockdown drills at all. Um, do you guys have? Um, do you guys have sex like a uh, sex ed for gay people for gay students? No, I no, don't think we, we don't. have sex ed. Do well, you have sex have ed at all? We have health. health but so I'm in health, but so far we haven't talked about anything. Like what do you guys talk? What do you guys talk about in health class? Well, we just started, so now it's just oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, eating healthy and exercising. Okay, if like you could improve education in any way, like let's say you were the president and you could just fix it, just just like that, like how would you change it? I feel like um, in private schools, especially, like they should like expand a lot of different types of like types of classes and stuff like that because we don't like. Really... Also, I feel like it shouldn't be that expensive. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the wait, expense does, is a lot. Does Libby have any uh, opinions of any of these things? It seems like Libby is the shy one. 
She's very <laughs> shy. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Libby, do you have any thoughts of anything we've been talking about? Um, just the same as that. <laughs> <laughs> we also last year we took a speech class. That was very yeah. Fun. I think that speech is really good. Like it really. Well, helps it's you. good, but it's it really bad if you're like. You. <laughs> if you're like shy, yeah. yeah. So like, what uh, what do you think is is um like speech class? Like, what's what's good about it, and do you think that more people should do it? Well, um, yeah. I, like, I'm not like I'm not really a shy person. I'm like more outgoing, and like I still got scared to do speeches, but I think it really like helped me. Improve yeah, but at stuff. the end, you like you yeah. just get more confident. Yeah, because I feel like it helps you remember your speeches if you have like any type of thing like. If you have to have a presentation or something, it really helps. Yeah. Mm. There's um, a really good book called um, Quiet by Susan Cain. I don't know if you guys are interested in psychology. Libby, I don't know if this is something up your alley, uh, but it talks about yeah. how how the education system is geared more towards extroverts than introverts and uh, to yeah. improve, to kind of improve and, and include people more that we need to kind of keep in mind uh, how introverts learn and um, mm -hmm. because actually because our society favors extroverted people and uh, I mean you can see that from like CEOs that run major corporations and stuff they're very outgoing but uh, yeah but the brains behind the outfit usually are introverts you know who don't get the credit um, but uh, so so now uh, now that you guys are back in school what are your thoughts of this online class situation and uh, do you like it better than being in school um honestly i kind of prefer actually going to school because like yes yeah, same we when we go like when we have e-learning and stuff like that it's kind of like they tend to make be more strict about it right now and like will we have the choice of going to school or not and just doing remote learning but i'd prefer to go to school because like if we're going to pay the money we'd rather just actually go yeah uh, um natalia yeah natalia i'd rather you know. go to school because I feel like I'm not as productive if I stay at home. Hmm. Is that is that something like? I mean, what what's interesting about that is like I guess being at home, you you learn more time management of your own of yourself, right? So yeah. like, do you think? Yeah, we. Yeah. Last year, we also had obviously. Um, Something learned. That was good, <laughs> but I'd rather go to school. Yes. Yeah. I guess the social aspect too, right? Just like hanging out with people. Yeah. Plus like, like the seniors. Yeah, like it's just better to go to school because I'm like, especially like right now, like freshmen, they're just starting to get to know high school and stuff like that. Like you want them to like learn the experience and stuff like that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, instead of just like being stuck at home alone, like just mm -hmm. learning. Yeah, like so much of life is just like being social, you know? Um. Well, what are your thoughts of like all the stuff that's going on with like with COVID and with like all the crazy stuff with like uh, Black Lives Matter and all those social issues? Like, what are the things that you guys care about? Um. Well, with COVID, I feel like it's kind of um, we should be trying to like um, what's it called? Just have more awareness of like that there's actually like a whole bunch of, of this going on and that we have to like be able to like take care of ourselves and like be like just how we surround each other, how we surround ourselves with other people. And then, um, you know, well, for Black Lives Matter, well, since we're like young, we probably don't even like, but um, I just think that it shouldn't be as bad as it is. Could you, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, could, could you, could you explain that a little more? That, yeah, that's, I mean, hey, like this is, this is a channel, this is a channel where we talk about our, our actual opinions and our, thoughts and and um, there's no judgment you know what i mean so well i feel like with the black lives matter like it when you like think of it and you like see all these videos of what happened to people like it does they do um like police officers like i support police i support black lives matter but with like police officers they do tend to be more like suspicious around that type of stuff mm -hmm. like Especially like even with like a lot of TV shows right now, they're starting to put a lot of that kind of stuff in them. And, but I also feel that like, just with also the police officers, but not they, like all the police yeah, officers are like I racist. Just feel police officers should try to put that more into like 
and like what they're learning like if they're doing police academy they should be like aware of that kind of stuff because they're not really getting into that a lot yeah 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 there was um i i had a uh, a guy who was in the Marines or in the military just a few interviews ago, and he was talking about how, um, you know, like a police training, like a, like if it, let's say like police training is six months, that's not going to be enough to try to change what a life, a person's life experience was from like zero to 20, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that, six months training for police academy is really only the basics and and it, it it brings up a good point right like what is the like like not all cops are bad like a lot of a lot of cops go into the it's same with like black people like right just... right yeah and and the thing is is that like unfortunately we see like the the hateful the one out of 100 or the one out of a thousand hate really hateful cop who you know, like puts his knee on a on a black man's neck and and murders him. You know, like like that's yeah. what we see. But that isn't. I mean, it's it's almost like similar to the radical is like the radical Muslims who ran the plane. Like we only into the World Trade Center. Like we only our media only saw those radical militant. Yeah. Muslims. So we see when, like one thing we suspect. Yeah, that is our... exactly. Yeah, we paint with a broad brush, and when we paint with a broad brush, it's it's, you know, it's like saying all women are you know inferior to men because they can't they they're not strong enough to be like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, like firefighters. It's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous kind of claim to say that all of one person, all of one kind of person, is is worse or wrong or. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a dangerous thing. Um, yeah. Any other thoughts of like, um, I guess education, like what do you, what do you think? Like if you could improve, I, I did, I guess I asked you this question already, didn't I? Like if you can improve yeah. it, you would, um, yeah, I guess I wonder about standardized tests. Like, do you feel like in private school, are you guys affected by standardized tests? Um, I feel, yeah. um, like, what do you mean in sort of way, like, like, um, I don't know. Do you feel like your classes are taught to, taught towards a test or do you feel like that's like, no, uh, but obviously like the week before we have a test, that's what they do. Cause that's what they're supposed to do, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like it's taught for a test. I feel like they try to like, whenever like we're trying to like, I feel, the teachers stuff, don't like the tests. Yeah, the all, tests. teachers don't like those kind of tests. Like whenever like we're in class, they'll always be like, they'll like think that we're like meant to learn to test, but they want to like teach us all these kinds of stuff, but they can't because sometimes it's mandatory. Like it's, it's mandatory to put tests in for students. Yeah. But we try to focus more on like, just like all types of like things instead of just focusing on one topic. Hmm. Or, or like, uh, yeah, I, I think that I, you know, I've been rambling a lot and asking you guys a lot of questions. Do you have any things that like have been on your mind lately that either you see on social media that you'd be interested in kind of bouncing ideas off of or processing or any questions that you guys have? Um, no, no, no. Okay. Um, any last thoughts before we get going then, or? No. You know, a, no? <laughs> okay. Yeah. How about Libby? Libby just kind of like ran away. <laughs> she, she went to go take a shower. She's in the shower. Now. In the shower? <laughs> she was like, she was like, no more of this. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, well, so are you yeah. in college or? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can totally ask me questions. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, uh, in grad school. Um, I am, I'm a professional actor actually, and, um, I'm getting my, my degree in, in acting so I could possibly teach one day in college. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm that, that's what I do. I'm, I, I spent five years in New York acting. Tr I travel the country acting doing shows and stuff and i love it it's it's my dream are you more into acting like like movie types or like plays i really like plays i only do i i really 
have only gotten paid to do theater acting. Um, and what's cool about, you know, people don't really know about that, but there's a, a whole industry where, you know, there are like 75 really big theaters all around the country. And, you, you know, you go to New York and you audition for them because all the theaters come to New York and you audition for them and you travel around, you meet all these people all around the country. And it's just a really uh, exciting but really tiring job because if you don't get the thing you're auditioning for, you're out of work, you know, and you just have to wait tables or at least in my case, I was a professional clown for, uh, <laughs> for five years. Actually, I did clowning for five years on the weekends to, to make ends meet and you just work through it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's life, you know, <laughs> yep. but what do you guys like if, uh, if you guys could be anything in the world, without consequence, what would you be? Um, well, I'm kind of really diverse with these kind of things. Sometimes I want to be like, I want to work with kids, but mm -hmm. I feel like surgeons, I just feel like it's a really nice job to do. So I sometimes think about being a pediatric surgeon. Wow. Or, or I'll lean towards like criminal justice and that kind of stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm just really diverse with those kind of jobs. I don't know. Yeah, I also like like I want to be like a pediatrician, but then I also like like real estate with like houses, too. Oh, interesting. What what like that? Uh, it's interesting that both you guys care so much about kids and, um, yeah, like, and but all but also like this real estate thing. Like, what uh, what appeals to you about those two different things? Like, well, when know. I was younger, I would always like love watching the house channels. <laughs> And like remodeling and stuff, and like I still do. It just interests me. I'm just interested in it. Yeah. What is it about kids you guys like? Last last question, and then I'll I'll let you guys go. Um. Well, I like lean towards like pediatrics because like I just feel like the need of like helping children and stuff like that. I just like sometimes mm -hmm. like I'll think of like even doing like just anything to do with like kids, like special eds or something like special like something yeah. like that. Just like kids kind of attract me because like it's just when like you grow up and stuff you like want other like you we want the adults to like get you and stuff. So that's just kind of what really leans towards me. And like attracts me. So Honestly, I don't really care for kids. But <laughs> I I just feel like a pediatrician would be a fun job. And just like Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You just kind of have that impulse, that instinct that just says like, that'd be fun. And you're following that. Well, that's awesome, guys. Thank you for being so honest and open about this stuff. And um, yeah, any any last thoughts before we get going? All good? Uh, no. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I'm going to be I'm going to be posting this video in like five minutes. So uh, okay. if you guys uh, so to, to be able to catch it, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, just enjoy it. Watch it back and see. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting to see yourself on here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Right. Well, have, have a good day. I'll see you, see you guys later. Bye. You too. <laughs>